Okay, truck drivers, here with the yeah. trash liner again. I mean, uh, freight liner. Yeah, sorry. Um, now my problem was that um, there was no air coming out of the um, service line, the blue line, right? When you um, apply the service brake, there was no air coming here, right? For the brakes on the trailer. So I follow the line and let me try to show you here. Okay. All right, so this is the line that brings the air when you press the pedal and it goes right on. Right on that, right on this side, right here, this part, right? And, and when you, um, okay, the air, works like this when you um, apply air to the trailer so to release the uh, brakes air comes out this way right and then inside of this part the tractor safety valve push um, like a little spring it pushes so this air the service brake air um, can get through Okay, can go through this line, right? But when you don't press the, when you don't give air to the trailer, right here, so there is no air here, so the spring doesn't open, and that's where the air from this line, the green light, you see there? The green light returns on this red line, right? So the air goes back when you don't, um, when you don't, um, um, apply the or release the brakes on the trailer so that's why when you don't release the brakes on the trailer even if you're pushing the or pressing the brake pedal uh, the air comes this way but it just kind of make a u-turn right here and then it goes back to this little red line that's the air going back okay that's why when you don't apply the uh, the um, the brakes, I mean the, the, the release on the trailer, on the red line, even if you press the service brakes, there is no air coming out of here. But once you push the red, uh, the, the red button inside the truck, then air comes this way and push that little spring inside and then the air instead of going back, comes this way. So I'm not, I'm not having any air on the service brake. So I'm gonna change this piece and hopefully that's um, that's resolved the problem. So right now I'm just gonna take these two screws right here, okay? Okay, so you have to disconnect all the hoses. One, two, three, four, four hoses. And then take this part, just two screws right there and this is the this is the old part and I got the new part right there so take all the, all these little parts right here and then put them on the new one and then you install this one and then this part goes on the you don't need to disconnect the hoses from the bottom part okay the trailer release airline you don't need to disconnect it alright okay now one problem that I found was the this screw you need to take it out because the new one doesn't come with but I tried with the Allen I think is the name of the tool but it didn't work it's just didn't work so now I'm gonna go to Home Depot maybe and just buy a screw that get gets in there so I can close this all right that's the only problem that I found with this part okay so one advice um, before you change this in the middle of nowhere try to find if you can take the screw from the other part from this part well that's good but if not uh, you're gonna be in trouble 
So I went to the um, auto part and I put this, this screw right here and that's gonna make it just to block the air from coming out from that part, okay? Now I'm gonna install it. Okay, so I put everything back and I'm gonna I explain to you why I put this, okay? If you have a trailer and you connect the red hose to a trailer, uh, you won't have a problem to test the part because the air is gonna go this way and then once it fill up all the tanks, um, it kind of stop. So once the air doesn't have a way to go and then it's gonna push the spring and then air is gonna come this way if you press the brakes, right? But I didn't have no trailer so when I tested, I put the, um, I uh, released the trailer brakes, so the air was coming this way, but because there was no stop on any tank or any brakes, uh, it was no, not enough force to push the, the spring inside, and so I'm just letting you know, if you have a trailer and you hook it up, you're gonna be fine, probably the air is gonna come when you press the service brakes. But since I didn't have no trailer, I have to put this so the air coming this way stops, then push the springs, and then uh, air was coming out of this this way. So this is good now. Change the part, and it's not really hard. <laughs> the only thing that I find out uh, is that if you don't have this, and you cannot take it from the old one, and then you're gonna be kind of uh, you know um, just, uh, in a problem probably. But that's it for the guys that have. Uh, no um, air on the service line. This is the part, the tractor safety valve, and it costs about $63 at the uh, Freightliner dealer. About $63 or $65. Okay? okay, so see you next time. Okay.